Hey guys, Ryan here. How many of you feel like your current KD ratio doesn't match your actual level of play because you were bad for a long time and now you're way better, but your overall KD doesn't say that? This is the case for a lot of people and that's why I want to help people find their actual quote unquote real KD. The first step to find your real KD is to find a third party website like cod.tracker.gg then you need to go to that website, look your profile up. If you can't see your stats because it says your profile isn't public, you just need to go to callofduty.com and set your profile settings to public. But if you can see your stats, you're going to go to this COD Tracker website, you're going to go into the different seasons, I'll show you in the background in the video, and you can just scroll down and see your own improvement. So for example, for me, if you look at my very first season I really started playing, I had a 3.05 KD. But if you then look at my very last Vanguard season, it's at a 4.2 and that's what I averaged the season before as well. So you have to think about that progress. I went from a 3KD player all the way to a 4KD player in my lifetime, but my overall KD says I'm a 3.5KD player. So just think about that and actually think what is your real KD? What is your overall actual KD in the last couple seasons? But this is also where it's super important to keep in mind the whole sample size thing. It's okay if you barely played any games in a season and your KD is low because of that. On the flip side, you're probably going to notice you're going to probably have a higher KD the seasons you play a lot. You have to factor in how much you play is going to drastically change your KD because it's going to change the literal math behind it. But it's also going to probably be equivalent to your skill level. If you have a season where you're not playing that much, then yeah, your KD is probably going to drop because, well, you just aren't playing that much. You aren't practiced. You aren't warmed up as often. You aren't as good. And on the flip side, the seasons where you actually played hundreds of games and you actually played the game a good bit, they're probably going to overall be your best. So you have to keep this in mind. That's what I'd actually consider your real KD if you're putting in a lot of time. For me, I ended Warzone with my last seasons being right about a 4.2 KD. Even though this last season, I've only played 20 games in Caldera and I have like a two point something KD and it's all been with the crossbow. That doesn't really count. And that's what I mean for the sample size thing. The previous seasons, I played 300 to 500 games in a season of Caldera. And that's when my KD was a four plus. When I played 20 games with the crossbows, it's a two point something, whatever. That doesn't really mean that I'm a two KD player. What that means is when I'm actually playing a lot and I'm playing on the big maps, I'm over a four KD player. And if my trajectory were to just keep going and I had to keep getting better, then probably in a couple months, I'd be a five KD player and et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, it's not easy to just continuously get better and better, but that's the secret to getting a good KD. And I wish people realized that. Even if you're a good player, even if you have a high KD ratio, even if you feel like you get high kill games, whatever, you can literally always get better and don't kid yourself. I don't care what your KD is. I don't care how good you are at the game. You can always get better and no one can tell me otherwise. I don't care if you're LeBron James. I don't care if you're Michael Jordan. I don't care if you're Lionel Messi, Wayne Gretzky. You could always improve on your craft. And I'm sure almost anyone who's ever truly been good at something would agree with that. But as I said, if you just look at how my overall KD looks, it's a 3.5 KD. And I started at a 3 KD, and then I ended at a 4 KD. So you can do the math why I probably ended at a 3.5 KD, even though it's not as simple as that, and it's actually kind of weird that it ended up like that. But for your account, you have to keep that in mind. If you started at a 0 0.6 KD, and you're now playing at a 1.4 KD level, Think about how much better you've gotten at the game and how much better you're going to get when Warzone 2 comes out and you have a whole nother game to get better like you just did. That is a lot of improvement. It's very similar to weightlifting. Yes, there's people out there benching and squatting and deadlifting and cleaning and running marathons and doing things you can't do as an individual. But that doesn't mean that the progress you're making isn't valid. And this applies directly to your Call of Duty account and pretty much anything you do in life. So you just have to keep that in mind, keep that perspective in your head, and learn to appreciate the growth you've already made as a player and as a person in whatever you're doing. It's really easy to forget how far you've come as a player in Warzone when you really don't watch gameplay of your old self. You aren't looking at a version of your old self. All of that improvement, you can't really see it because you're the one who's improving. And even if you watch your own gameplay, you're not just going to remember instantly that old version of yourself. And that's why it really helps to look at your old stats and compare yourself and really look at how far you've come as a player. 
I think a lot of people forget that they were a lot worse when they first started, and it's insane how much better they are now. If you think about their movement, if you think about their aim, their game sense, everything, they've probably improved in so many ways that they don't even realize, and some people just never learn to appreciate that, and that's something I really don't think people should do. But that's also why I suggest people actually take the time to find their quote-unquote real KD, because most people only see that number in their COD leaderboards or their barracks or whatever, and that's not the number you should be focusing on. In reality, your KD is probably much different and your actual level of play is not representative of what that is because that contains the stats from your old self. And if you're a much better player now, you're probably going to have stats that aren't representative of the quality of player you actually are. Overall, I hope you just keep this in mind. I hope you actually look these stats up, see what your quote unquote real KD is. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And when Warzone 2 comes out, I hope you keep everything I just mentioned in mind. Anyways, guys, it's been Ryan. I hope you have a good day.